Hello everyone, welcome to this channel of understanding and using software tech and learn about software and change you into a software pro. Before we continue, kindly hit the subscription button below and share this channel. Alright, so we are going to learn about how to use flow function and rounding of numbers in Excel. And uh, the formula for using a uh, uh, flow function is that you can type equal sign, put a flow, open the parenthesis, put a number, the number, the factor that you want to uh, divide, then put a comma, and then they put a number which is multiple or divisible by, then close the parenthesis. Alright, so um, when dealing with flow, you are looking for a number which you can round down, down, to the nearest multiple or divisible by. You look for a number that is less, that is down, that is uh, nearest to the multiple or divisible by. All right, so um, let's uh, see the example so that we can understand. So if you're looking for a number that is divisible by five, that is less than 947, um, then, um, you will agree with me that the number which is down, which is less, and is nearest to uh, 947, that is divisible by 5, is 945. Let's uh, try that so that you can see how it goes. Assume I wanted to divide uh, 947 divided by 5, I will get 189.4. That is not divisible by 5 completely. So what do I do? Um, I look for a number that is less uh, than 947 that is divisible by 5. And I know you know that it is not 946, but it is 945, which is completely divisible by 5. Let's see. You see, it has given us 189 and no decimal points. Okay. So let's continue to this other one. So the number that is less than 1015, that is divisible by 3, and is nearest, nearest, that is divisible by 3, is 1014. So the number which is divisible by 220, by 2, and is uh, from 228, is 228. If you divide 228 by 2, you don't get any decimal. All right, so for 229, when you divide by 2, you will get a decimal point. So we are looking for a number that is nearest and is less. Flow, flow, it is less, it is down, and is nearest um, that can be divided by 2, and that is 228. All right, so the number which is nearest to... Um, um, which is larger actually when we say larger i know uh don't get confused by the word flow when we are dealing with a negative sign if i put a negative sign on this number which is i'm going to use to divide uh my factor with i will be looking for a larger number when dealing with a negative sign so let me uh explain something here I do a little uh, chat here to explain something further. So, on the negative axis, this is the negative axis continuing to the far right, and this is the positive axis continuing to the far left. So, from zero, when you're looking for a number, when, when the numbers are going far from zero, it's getting lesser and lesser. And when you're getting the numbers that you're going towards, uh, positive axis it gets larger and larger for example negative one is la is larger than negative two and negative two is lesser than negative one but for the positive axis one is less than two and two is greater than one so as we continue towards the positive axis the numbers get larger and as we continue towards the negative axis the numbers get uh lesser so when i come to uh, my uh, flow function here 
and I'm looking for a number that is divisible by negative 5. If I put a negative sign, then that means I'm looking for a number that is larger than negative 6 or larger than my number, my factor here that I'm looking for that is divisible by negative 5. And as we've seen from the negative axis, that as you go further away from the zero, then you are going, uh, the numbers keep getting lesser. If you are coming towards the C zero from the negative axis, the numbers keep, keep getting larger. So for the number which is larger than negative six, which is divisible by negative five, that will be negative five because negative five on the negative axis is larger than negative six. When you put for when you put a negative sign, that means you are looking for a larger than the factor. All right, for us here, uh, when you are looking for a negative uh, number which is divisible by negative five, that is larger than negative eleven, it will be negative ten because negative ten is nearer to zero. That means it is larger than negative eleven. On this other example, is that when you look, when you don't put a negative sign before the number that you are di that is divisible by, that uh, then you are looking for a lesser number. And as we said, on the negative axis, as you go further from the negative, the numbers get lesser and lesser. And so, the number which is lesser than negative eleven, uh, that is divisible by five, is clearly negative 15 and it is the nearest to negative 11 so is negative 15 negative 15 is less than negative 11 when you are on the negative axis all right so the number which is divisible here by 100 and is less than 750 why less because we are now dealing with the positive signs positive sign positive factor and positive number so when we, we are using the positive ones then we look for less the flow we look for less so the number which is completely divisible by 100 is 700 i know that was very easy i know you've understood that all right so something to take note is that when you're dealing with the negative sign so um when you're dealing with the negative sign um What you do is that you have to use a negative factor. When you are using a negative sign that you are looking for a number which is divisible by a negative number, then you have to put a negative factor. If you don't put a negative factor, if you put a positive factor, and you are using a number, a negative a number which is divisible by what you are looking for, it will give you an error. For example, um, this one. So we were looking for, we, we used the formula flow to write, uh, to type 888, eight, eight, and the number we, we used a negative 9. So we want a number which is lesser than 888 eight, eight, that can be divisible by negative 9. And when we press enter, it gave us a num, which means error. Why? Because you can't use a negative sign to look for a uh, to look for a number which is uh, divisible or um, divisible by a positive factor. You can't use a number which is a negative, and you are looking for a positive factor which is divisible by a negative sign. So what you have to do is that you have also, you have to use a negative. Um, Factor the way we did here. So if you were looking for a number which is uh, divisible by a negative number, then it has to be a negative uh, factor also. Or this also can work. We look for a negative uh, factor which is divisible by a positive number. That one it will give you the answer. Like for this one, it will give us uh, the answer. Um, negative 888 divisible by 9 like that it will give you um, wait, 
There is something I need. Yes. It will give you a negative 891. Why is it not the same with this one? Because for this one, we are looking for a number which is larger. Remember I told you the negative sign is looking for a number which is larger than 882. And the number which 888, sorry, and the number which is less and larger than 888 that is divisible by negative 9 is 882. Because on the negative axis, as you come towards the zero, the numbers become larger. As you go to away from the zero, the number become lesser. So for nine, for negative nine, a number which is uh, for for um, for nine, we are looking for a number which is lesser than negative eight eight eight, and that is negative eight nine one because negative eight nine one is far away from zero. All right, so um. Let's uh, just look at this example a little just further for um, more understanding. Um, so for here, 935, we are looking for a number which is divisible by 5 and is less than 935 or equals to because, um, so when we press enter, we see that it is 935. Why? 935 is completely divisible by 5. All right. So here we are looking for a number that's divisible by 100 from 650. As you can agree with me, it will be 600. The number which is nearest and is less than. Nearest and is less than. When dealing with positive numbers with no negative anywhere, then you're looking for the less one, the down one, but it is the nearest and that is 600 all right so for this uh this other one when you're looking for a number that's divisible by two and it's negative 25 then we are looking for a number that is uh, larger why why larger because i told you when you put a negative sign before a number then you're looking for, uh, for a number that is larger than the factor that you want to divide with so for us the number which is larger than negative 25 that is nearest and is divisible by negative 2 is uh, negative 24 because negative 24 why is, la is it larger it is because it is nearest zero on the negative axis as you come near as you come towards the zero as you come towards the zero the numbers becomes larger. As you go away from the zero on the negative axis, the numbers becomes lesser. All right, for this one, we are looking for a number uh, that is lesser than negative 25. Why lesser? Because we didn't put a negative sign on two here. So the number that is lesser, as we have learned from the negative axis, is the number which is far away from zero. So the number which is far away, which is lesser than negative 25, will be negative 26 because it is far away from zero. It is lesser than negative 25. Negative 24 here is larger than negative 25. All right, so um, that's it for today. Kindly subscribe and share this channel to uh, others and... Um, Thank you so much for learning with us. I really appreciate it. Watch out for more tutorials uh, for more on uh, software that we have.